it's Deborah from The Attic and today I'm going to do a quick video. I just want to show you a couple of ideas I've had for ways of using some tags that I've touched on in a previous video. So these are tags that I've cut by hand and I've put the measurements onto the tags and I've laminated them and that way I have a tag that I can just draw around. So if you don't have a die cutting machine or a die cut in this size, just cut yourself a rectangle, snip off the corners, pop a little punch hole in the top, make it to whatever size suits your projects and then keep a note of the dimensions. And then any time you're making a tag for your projects, your tags will always be the same size. And this is referenced in one of my earlier videos. These are tags that I've cut from my my homemade little tags and I've also cut some pieces of paper that I want to put on top of these. So one is from um, an old book, one is from an old map, one is blank because I'm going to stamp that with my ever trusty um, lettering stamp. This is from Impression Obsession and it's simply got a number, it's L9724. We'll start with these two tags that are going to have paper put onto them and I'm going to quickly add a little bit of glue. The glue that I'm using is called, if I move the lucky band, is called Beacon 3-in-1. I like this glue very much because it allows you uh, time to wiggle things about. It doesn't dry immediately so if you need to shift things around and make sure they're properly centred it gives you time to do that and then when it dries on the inside it dries without leaving bubbles or trails of glue. It dries very, very flat. I'm going to get some white gesso. White gesso is like a primer. It's, um, it's a very thin white paint, although you can get, I think you can get black as well, but I usually stick to white. And the reason I do that is because when I add this to my tags, it tones down the background. So it's like you've got something that is a very high colour and you just tone down the colour a little bit. It's as good as having a dial just to tone down colour. And it means that you send your background paper into the background, into the distance, and you can put things in the foreground in effect. And that's what we're going to do once we've let these uh, dry. While the other pieces are drying, I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to put some of this on the background of my plain white stamp and that will give me a good crisp outline. Like that. My tags are dry and I'm going to add a stamp over the top of, I think I'll do it over two of them and I'll leave the map one blank. And my stamp is a, a current favourite. It's got two uh, really long flowers here which are wonderful for stamping on the side of tags. It's called Natural Elements and it comes from uh, Woodware Craft Collection. It's a very versatile stamp. I'm going to use my same potting soil ink and I'm going to ink it up. Make sure it's um, your stamp looks nice and juicy before you stamp it to make sure you really will get good coverage because when you have solid stamps like these with big solid areas quite often you might miss a little bit. I find the slower I stamp the longer I give the ink to settle down onto the tag the better the impression I get. That's beautiful, just lovely. And I'm going to do the same on this card here because I want to show you ways that you can layer up and have a collage effect on your tags and I want to show you just how easy that is. But this time we'll do it slightly at an angle and on the opposite side and again give it plenty of time to stick to your tag. The gesso gives tags real tooth. Whatever you cover the gesso over paper card, other items, it could be um, 3D flowers or whatever, it will give real tooth 
So anything, any ink that you want to put on or a spray ink or anything like that, it will adhere really well. There we go. And just by doing that on the different side and slightly off, you can see how you can achieve different effects. You could also put the stamp maybe halfway down so you just have half a flower. So you could have a tall flower here and half a flower here. Uh, you could have two tall flowers here and then words just running across it. So I want to, to give you an idea of how one simple, one single stamp used in different ways on your tag can give quite, can look very different, can look like it's a number of different stamps. The next thing I want to do is I want to add some colour around the edges. Now, Vintage Photo is my, my favourite for doing this. It's a Distress Oxide and I use these. These are called oral swabs and they're, they're a medical thing but you can get a bag of, uh, I think it's 150 or something for £10. You get a massive bag for not very much money. They're available on Amazon. They're called oral swabs and they're great for this sort of thing. They work just as well as an ordinary foam pad will do. They're cheaper. And then if I want to really darken that edge around it, I can take my ink pad and I can drag it down the outside edge and it will give me a hard, dark colour. This is called Wildflower Meadow and it's from Craft Consortium. I love these stamps. They're, they're very inexpensive as well and I'm going to use this stamp here, which I guess is a buttercup but I'm not very good at biology, ornithology, botany, whatever that one is. But it's a pretty flower and I like it very much. I'm going to stamp it out on a piece of plain white paper with a black ink because I'm going to add it to my final little map tag because I want to show you that it doesn't matter what the paper design is underneath. If you've added a layer of gesso, you've sent that background way back then if you put something like this on top of it, you can match flowers and maps. You could match butterflies and book papers. It doesn't matter. As long as there's interest in the background that is going to capture your attention but not dominate your attention from what else is going on, then you can use any kind of paper that you want. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to colour this in, I'm just going to get some colour paper, uh, colour pencils and I'm going to colour this in very very roughly and then I'm going to cut it out and I'll come back and show you when I've done that. There's my little flower all cut out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down here so I can have some flower here and I'll move this one to the other side. Again I wanted to show you that just because a stamp is a certain way doesn't mean you can't change it. I've cut my flower in half. I'm going to glue this onto my tag. I'm not going to have it growing from the bottom of my tag because that's a bit that's a bit predictable, isn't it? So we're going to do something different. And we're going to pop it onto the top of the tag and then anything that hangs outside the edge of the tag can get chopped off. I'm going to complete the tags with some of these words. These words are available on my Etsy store. Here's a long phrase, but if you want it to go on a tag, you want to split that up. So I've got some words that I've cut out ready to add to this tag. I've got some other words that I'm, I'm ready to add to this. And I want to show you a couple of ways to make them stand out and then we'll complete this tag here. With these, if you want to make those stand out and maybe put those on a background, and if you want the background to match the work you've already done, on your tag. There's a couple of ways that you can do it. Get the ink that matched uh, the ink that you used to do your stamping and put your stamp pad directly onto a piece of plain card and then you can glue the words onto the ink and then you can cut them out. With this one I'm going to show you a quick way that you can that you can add uh, a background to these words and make them stand out. So I'm using a blue, this is a Stormy Sky Distress Oxide 
and all I'm going to do is get one of my foam dabbers and I'm going to add a little line of uh, or a little edge of glue. I'm adding a black line with a thin black marker pen around the outside edge and this doesn't have to be pretty or exact or anything because the whole point is that this is just your way of doing things. I'm going to have this in two sections, uh, three sections. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to get rid of that little dash mark. So I'm going to have the bottom one there, the middle one in the middle, like that, and this one will go at the top. And I'm going to make them stand out by adding a line this time on the inside. And this. It's very simple, it's just lines. Everyone can draw lines. I can't draw straight lines, but I hope I'm demonstrating that it doesn't have to be a complete perfection in order to get a really nice result. That's all three of our tags finished. I've added a little bit of uh, ribbon through the top of them as well. So the purpose of these um, three tags was to show you different ways that you could use the words that I've printed uh, from my Etsy download and that is the uh, tea stain paper that you can download as well and then print your words onto that if you choose and also to show you a way that you can use your own words and you can make up your own phrases and then three different ways to make the words on your tags pop. So I hope that was useful and until we meet again take care.